Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today we're talking about one of the rare good historical premium ships in game. That is the Tier 9 Premium French Battleship, the Jean Bar. But Sea Lord, Jean Bar isn't available anymore. Why are you talking about her? Well, because I had a pretty good game in her last night on stream. And we are fast approaching the upcoming Black Friday event. That, unless it is a completely different event from the previous, well, five Black Friday events, you will be able to purchase this ship. The black version of the ship, which is exactly the same as this ship, except it comes with a nifty black camo. That, even if you don't like the way the camo looks, you can take it off and slap on any other camo if you're choosing, and then you just got a Jean Bar. So, the Jean Bart is the sister ship to the Tier 8 Techline French battleship, the Richelieu. Now, the Richelieu and Jean Bar are both real still historical ships. Jean Bar is also one of the only World War II era battleships to actually get in a battleship on battleship engagement. With another ship that is in game, which is the Tier 8 Premium American battleship, the Massachusetts which you can also get in the Black Friday event. Quite the, co the coincidence there, ain't it, fellas? But yes, the Massachusetts and Jean Bar can both be picked up in Black Friday. And should you pick these ships up, well, Massachusetts definitely so. It's still one of the best premiums in the game. And the Jean Bar, I would say definitely so. Why? We'll get to that in a moment but yes during operation torch the uh, massachusetts did have a gunnery duel with the jean bar however the jean bar was also very much not completed at the time only one of her 15 inch turrets was operational at that time so it was an a nine gun fight against the four gun fight with the jean bar being armed with 15 inch guns as opposed to the massachusetts's 16 inch guns so John Barr did not win the fight, although she wasn't seriously injured by the Massachusetts either. Her gun, her, her main battery guns were knocked out during the fight, but they were restored to working order later. And later, the Americans also bombed the John Barr, which also didn't sink her, but wasn't exactly uh, beneficial to her health either. So after the invasion of Africa and after, well, then after the uh, Free French got a hold of her too, there were plans made to tow her back to the United States and complete her, well, actually not tow her back, um, operate, uh, run her back, because they did manage to restore, I believe, one of her turbines and steering, so there were plans to have the ship be transferred over to the United States and have her completed there, very much like the same happened with Richelieu, her sister ship, However, there was some back and forth on this and some debate on this, and eventually the war did come to an end, so the Jean Bar was not finished by the Americans, but she was finished by the French, and it, it took a hot minute, despite the war ending in 1945, it wasn't until the mid-50s that she would see active service with the French Navy, understandably so, as you will have to rebuild Europe after the war, and there was much debate about how to finish the Jean Bar as well, because World War II showed us that battleships would not be the future of naval warfare, rather carriers would. And there were plans to convert her into an aircraft carrier. However, she was completed as a battleship in the state that you see in-game. So the Jean Bar we have in-game is the 1950s Jean Bar, and this is the state that the ship was in for the 50s. Um, unfortunately, the Jean Bar was scrapped in 1970, so there's not much left of her. You can see her anchor, however, which is truly unfortunate that this ship couldn't be saved for future generations. However, the ship is in Wood Warship, so if you fancy seeing the ship in game, you can see her in game and play her as well. Again, this Black Friday, if you don't have her just yet. So, is the ship worth picking up? Like I said, yes, she is. And how's she doing in 2022? Well, after playing her on stream last night, and furthermore, after that, fu funny enough, I did pop in her on stream, and I forgot that the last time I played the Jean Bar was a bit of a meme build, and we had a secondary build on the Jean Bar, which um, was a very pretty light show, but doesn't really do too much since they are their French secondaries and they aren't um, they aren't 
capable of of pinning the armor threshold that you need them to pin for them to be effective they, there's a lot of them they do fire fast you can get them out to 12 kilometers but secondary build isn't what you want to do with this ship you're kind of wasting the potential of the ship so what the john bart is it's the richelieu from tier 8 but up tier to tier 9 so you do have a tier 8 hull at tier 9 the armor's the same you do have the same amount of hit points so you do have tier 8 hit points at tier 9 which can be you know double up tier to super ships now but they basically wargaming basically just supercharged the jean bar in every department except for speed the ship is slower than her tier 8 counterpart because she does have a lot more aa and secondaries on her than her tier 8 counterpart but everything else about the ship is basically a turbocharged jean bar the guns are much more accurate, much, much, much more accurate than the Jean Bar. Like, if you play the Jean Bar and you've grinded the Jean Bar, you know the pain of playing the Jean Bar. The Jean Bar's dispersion is terrible because it kind of has to be because you have the French 15 inch AP. The French 15 inch AP is a very, very, very hot shell. They come screaming out of the barrels at 830 meters a second which is very fast very fast for a battleship like most other tier 8 battleships are like well i say fast but now we have the soviet battleships and a couple other kooky uh tier 8 and above battleships with pretty hot loads as well but back in the day when it was just you know the americans the japanese the germans and the brits this was very hot but again today not so much however they're still very spicy but with the Jean Bar, you can actually hit what you're aiming at when you go for a main battery gun build, and you've got the um, the dispersion mod on there as well. And plus, she has a much quicker reload time. You can get like two and a half shots off every minute with these guns. That's without her party trick as well. So the more accurate, they fire faster, you have better AA, you have a lot more secondaries. Again, not really worth it in my opinion. But you also have her final party trick, which, well, you have two more party tricks. You have a main party trick, which is her reload booster. This is a battleship with a reload booster. One of the first ones to get this consumable in-game. So now you have eight French 15-inch guns with amazing AP that you can get down to around a 10-second reload with a Driven Rush. Now, if you're really low on health, you can get it down to like eight-ish seconds on these 15-inch guns and the reload booster lasts long enough for you to get about three salvos out if you time it properly so like you fire pop it you get one and two so you have three salvos very quickly back to back with a jean bar with french 15-inch ap or on the other hand too the he is not bad either you have a 36 percent chance of causing fire per shell you have eight shells with a very quick base reload time but then you throw that reload booster on there where you can throw three salvos of this HE in something's face, you'll be setting plenty of fires to the Jean Bart and also murdering DDs too. Because the firing arcs on the, well, the shell arcs on the Jean Bart are very flat. So it's very easy to deal with DDs. Again, with the reload booster and the HG and the accuracy, you're quite fearsome when it comes to murdering DDs in this ship. All for the cost of having a tier 8 hull, tier 8 HP and a slower top speed than the Jean Bart, you, the, I'm sorry, than the Richelieu, you do get the engine boost consumable, which is very nice. It does help you keep up, but the Jean Bart's top speed is 30 knots base. Uh, you, you can get up to, I think, 32, 33 with the engine boost going and the speed flag, and then with the Richelieu, that's Richelieu's base speed, and Richelieu's top speed, I think it tops at like 38, 39 knots with the engine boost and with the speed flag going. Of course, you can throw Brisk on there now. That is something new that's been added to the game since um, Jean Bart's been uh, yanked from the, uh, from the premium shop. So when you're undetected, you can get scooting a little bit faster. So you could push that up a little bit more, but I wouldn't really put that in the Jean Bart. I would definitely invest most of my points into a tank build since, again, it is a tier 8 hull. She does have a tier 8 amount of hit points, 69,000 hit points. On a tier 9 battleship that that is again proper tier 8 levels of uh, of hp so yeah but she's aged very well in my opinion uh with the addition of a lot of these crazy crazier ships at higher tier i mean you've got a ship that was always good at doing damage and now you've got super ships in game 
um, some crazier large battleships, some crazy large cruisers that this ship still does very well with with her 15 inch AP. It's really punchy AP and these large ships are just as acceptable to her AP as any of the other ships. And not to mention too the HE so when she's really in an uphill fight she can switch to HE and just burn down whatever she needs to burn down. And yes she is slower than the Richelieu but she can still move in and out of situations as she needs to. I wouldn't play it like the Rishu. See, a lot of Rishu players, they, you know, they say Bowen. They think they think they're a tank destroyer like they were in War Thunder. And you can see here in the match in the background, when I was sitting still because I was kind of had to because I was being flanked by uh, two FDGs, had to get one behind an island and try to mitigate the damage from the other one. When I was able to be focused down, the ship was starting to melt quite, quite quickly. And that's not great. So to avoid this, you kind of just play her like the new French battle cruisers. Stay moving, stay mobile, try to get down a flank. And you can see that when we get on that flank here in this match, and I got all these broadsides to shoot, and I got my reload booster going, it's, again, just damage city for this ship. And the ship is amazing. I love it. I am sad that they removed it from the shop, but you can buy her directly during the Black Friday event. You don't have to go through the containers or anything. You just buy this thing straight out of the armory for doubloons, um, which, again, will be the case if they do this Black Friday event like the past five. I could be wrong, but I don't see them changing this event. It's a very profitable event for them. Very popular event as well, too. So she'll be around for the Black Friday event. I would highly recommend you guys pick this ship up. She's a fantastic ship. A good historical ship, and that's always nice when we see these, these historical ships get their deuce. AA is also pretty decent as well, but again, with AA, eh, CVs, yeah. it's kind of hit or miss. But anyway, guys, that's my two cents on the Jean Bar. I just want to share this match, my thoughts on it with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 40,000 subs. We're getting very close to that goal. When we do hit that goal, we will be doing another uh, milestone giveaway, so make sure you guys stick around for that. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.